Hallam. Here's the order committing Samuel Halston to the asylum. And I hereby appoint you, Gilbert Ware, trustee of his estate. It's a hurry, Wilton. I've got some bad news for you, Gilbert. Old man Halston's son Brent is on his way back home. <laughs> I've been expecting him. Why, won't he make trouble over you handling his old man's ranch? Let him try. Unless he's changed a whole lot, he's just a fool kid trying to act smart. Why, he's got by in Baja, California for the last five years, and that's a tough country. Maybe he'll be glad to get back there before we get through with him. Oh, well, if you ain't worrying, I won't. Hey, bartender. Yes? Yeah. A little shot of that dynamite. There you are. Thanks. Well, uh, there's mud in your eye. Oh, good, good. oh. <clears throat> boy, that's good. Yeah. of spades. Is that the only hold card you ever get? You ain't insinuating anything, are you? Your bet. You're high with the king of spades. But I haven't got any king of spades. Oh, I don't mean the one in the hole. I mean the one in your hand here. Why, you cheap tin horn crook. Give me my king. Come along. What are you buttoning in here for? Oh, well, I, I just... A little sociable game. Here, have a cigarette. You fresh egg. Well, God burn me for a sheep herder if it ain't Brent. When did you get in? Hello, Ben, about an hour ago. In trouble as usual. Come on with me, kid. Let's get out of here. We got a lot to talk about. There, Ben. Have a little drink. It's kind of fancy. 
Oh, go on, fill her up. Take a drink. That's a step. Well, here's how. Here's a little chaser for you. The dribbling. Gosh, darn it. I've been bottle drinking so long. <laughs> oh, so that's it, huh? Well, if you ain't changed any, why'd you stay away five years? Well, you see, Ben, I kind of figured you and Dad left me to stew in my own juice. You didn't figure that we might have needed you. What do you mean? The old Harry himself's busted loose here, Brent. It's either cattle or sheep, and the cattlemen's got their backs again the wall. What are you kicking about? We still got control of five springs and the water rights, haven't we? Uh, have we? That feller you made a monkey of down there at Saloon's got your dad's note for $30,000. And when he collects, there'll be no more cattle on this range. Dad's note? Yes. Now, you know as well as I do, Brent, that a horse or a cow won't drink water that a sheep's been near. Yeah, I know that. But how did this coyote get that note? Win it in a poker game? Nobody knows. You know, it's pretty difficult to talk to your father. Where is Dan? He's locked up in an asylum. Asylum? Do you mean an insane asylum? Yeah. Why didn't you get in touch with me? We didn't know where you was, son. They tried to run in some sheep on him, and he dropped a gun on one of them. That's no sign he's lost his mind. Well, of course not. But Wilton swore charging that he was a dangerous lunatic and a menace to law-abiding men. And then the judge appointed Gilbert Ware as guardian. Now you can see what you're up against. So Ware's mixed up in this too, huh? It's the way she stacks up to me. Come in. Mr. Austin, Mr. Ware would like to see you up in his room, 217, the bridal suite. Thanks. Mr. Ware wants to see you. You gonna call his bet? Sure I am. And if he says anything, I'll hang that bridal right on his neck. Come in. Well, well, Brent, welcome home. How are you, Mr. Ware? Hi. Glad to see you. Thanks. <laughs> Still up to your darn fool kid tricks, are you? <laughs> the little gadget I picked up in Mexico. I didn't think the Mexican had your sense of humor. Not nah, their conscience. You know, I pulled that on a fellow in Hermosella once, and he darn near jumped out the window. <laughs> My conscience is clear. Sit down. Now you understand that I am guardian of your father's estate. So Ben Livesey told me. I'm kind of surprised they didn't select a friend of my father's. The court selected me. Well, now that I'm back, I can relieve you. Well, I'm afraid that the court wouldn't see it in that light. Well, say, Gilbert, I come in to tell you about that man around the corner that he was... Why, you... Well, this isn't free range. Can't you see I'm busy with Mr. Halston? Halston? So you're young Halston? Yes, his son. Get back and see me in about ten minutes. All right. That's unfortunate, Halston. Wilton has a note against you. Well, it's so bento. What else did he tell you? Nothing. I don't believe that the interest has been paid on that note in two years. But uh, you've been able to hold them off. Yes, so far. Uh, well, uh, where is the note? Wilton has it. Gee, I don't, I don't see what I can do. Well, if you think of anything, you come up and see me. Thanks, Mr. Ware. Uh, could, uh, could I see my father? Surely. I'll be glad to give you a permit. Thank you. Well, 
on, you blasted fool. You put in her upset in the apple cart. Oh, how did I know it was young Halston? You're getting a little too free with that gun. Oh, he's nothing but a yap with a lot of mail order tricks. Sure, that's what I'm counting on. What do you suppose I had his old man sent to the asylum for? What do you suppose I got myself appointed guardian of the state for? Why, say, in a year, this land's going to be all sheep. And I can water them and feed them where I want to. And you keep away from that young doggy Halston till I give you the word. And don't forget, we got the law on our side, so keep that gun of yours in its holster. Well, did you get his scalp, son? Nope, but I got his whole layout. Can it be beat? We're not licked yet. That's something nobody else has ever been able to do. Ben, we've got to get a good lawyer before they crack down and take the ranch away from us. And that costs money, son. And we can't get a single solitary cent without wearing cent. Controls everything, huh? Yeah. All but that $5,000 worth of bonds your dad had tucked away for a rainy day. That hasn't been found? No. Well, let's get the buckboard and head for the ranch. Your pardon? Why, Mark, where did you come from? Sam, my horse seems to know you pretty well. Your horse? Why, it was my horse up till the other day. Yeah, it was Dad's before then. Oh, you're Brent Holston. I heard you were back from Mexico. And you're Ethel Gordon, ain't you? Yes. Mother and I live over on the old Frawley place on your father's ranch. Mother, what are you aiming to do with that thing when you get through with it? Well, sell it a hole. Uh-huh. I hope so, too. If you don't mind, Miss Gordon, I'd sure like to know how much you pay for a picture like that. Mm, about a hundred dollars. Holy mackerel! Old Ben Lavsey will sell you the cow for $25. <laughs> well, you can't hang a cow on the wall. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I hope you'll be able to bring your father back home. So do I. Hey, 
Hey, what's the matter with you, anyway? Why, I'm much the only one with sense enough to know it's time to eat. Oh. Well, it's been nice to meet you. Do you paint around here every day? Well, not every day. Well, I wouldn't be riding by here every day. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Mr. George Clark Lesson. Oh, I'm glad to know you. Me too. The best darned attorney in this county. Snowflake. Yeah. Get Mr. Brent his dinner. Yeah. Looks like I'm going to need you kind of bad, Mr. Lesson. That's right, son. They're going to take your father's property this week, unless we fight him in court. Will you start the fight for us? That'll take a lot of money. You've got to put up a bond. Can you do that? <laughs> There's where you got to stump. Unless we can find that $5,000 worth of bonds. <laughs> Maybe Ware has them. <clears throat> he looks for them every time he comes out here. If you had $5,000, could you do something? I could do a whole lot. Throw in with me for a couple of days so I can go down and see my father. I'll gamble with you. I'll lay my defense tomorrow. That'll hold things up for a little while. But you've got to put up a bond. And you won't get the money from where I should get it from. My father. Permit from Mr. Ware to see Mr. Necessary, you know, as Mr. Ware is his legal guardian. Yes, I know. I have one. Boys, let him go. Snap into it, Halston. Is he here? Here, just a minute. This happens to... Brent, my son. So you've come home at last. Look what they've done to me. You think my patient. You're driving me crazy for a fact with your sneaking, snooping ways. You mutton-faced piece of coyote bait, you. You see, last time he became violent, we had to use water and a straitjacket. You value your neck. Get over in that corner and stay there. Come on, sit down out here, Dad. I've hired Lesson to handle our affairs, but we must have money. Where are those bonds you had for an emergency? Well, yeah. Wait. You dirty little sidewinder. Stay on your own side of the corral or I'll brain you. You see, he's getting violent. Violent? Why not? Me, the richest man in San Simon Hill like a rope steer. Me, who never rode less than a thoroughbred. Me who eat off a silver plate. Me who slept on a $5,000 bed. You don't... Get him, 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 get him. You see? He's dangerous. Close. Don't forget, he's my father. Anything developed yet? Yeah, I just put in a phone call for our friend up close at the asylum. You should have kept Brent away from there. I had to let him go. Yeah? Young Halston was here, but nothing developed except the old man in a sudden burst of fury attacked me. What? Yes, he had a moment's conversation with his father, but I was always within a few feet. Yes, I heard all that was said. Well, uh, say anything about bonds? Bonds? You mean restrictions? Oh, I see. You mean finance? Oh, no. Old Halston went his mind. He was yelling that he used to sleep in a thousand dollar bed when young Halston left. <laughs> Five thousand dollar bed? Hmm. Well, 
thanks very much, Doctor. I'll take care of you on the final cleanup. Goodbye. What's that he said about a $5,000 bed? What he said? A $5,000 bed. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? Yeah. $5,000. That's where those bonds are in that bed. Jumping grass. I gotta get off of that ranch pronto. You take care of the office. I always know the old man wasn't crazy. Not any more than you are. I wonder what he meant. Search me. Yeah. Been any more coffee out there? Uh, no, sir. I had some, uh, but I done drunk it. Did you want some more coffee, mister? I sure did. Uh, well, well uh, I'll get you some more, sir. <laughs> Yelled out of East Eater's Meals off a silver plate and slept every night in a $5,000 bed. <laughs> Old Sam's plates were rubber. At least his ever one was. And the bed. Bed. Where are you going? His room. I got a hunch. Have you gone plumb crazy? What are you doing? Mr. Holtz. Taking my dad's room over, and we is uh, that is on my air in the bed a little bit. <laughs> Pretty smart, ain't you? Well, yeah, smart. Oh, Matt. Good morning, Miss Morgan. Oh, good morning, Mr. Wilton. Here's the book you loaned me. I sure enjoyed it. I just wanted to warn you, there's likely to be some trouble around here this afternoon. What on earth are you talking about? There's a thousand head of our sheep on the road to the Five Springs Ranch. We're gonna cut the wires and let the sheep in. Do you think Brent Halston will stand for that? <laughs> That's saparoo. All he can do all day long is play around with a lot of cheap mail-order gadgets. You can't do it. Possession is nine points of the law. Does that mean that sheep are going to wander all over Five Springs Ranch? Yep, I'm going to foreclose on the ranch this week. That will be my ranch. Maybe 
our ranch. What do you mean? It's up to you, honey. Oh, I ain't good enough for you, huh? Up to your same old tricks, huh? Olson, I'll get you for this. Get out of here, Wilton. I guess I happen along just in time. After all, I think I'm quite capable of handling the matter myself. Oh, I'm right sorry. You see, I kind of thought he was taking advantage of the fact that you were a, well, a, a female. Will you stop trying to be a Boy Scout and an amateur magician and listen to me? Why, ma'am? There are a thousand head of sheep on the trail, and Wilton and his men are intending to cut the wire to fire springs. How did you find that out? Well, Wilton just told me. Well, what are you going to do about it? Let them take the ranch? I should say not. I'm going to round up the cattleman, and I'll give him a little surprise party. Can I help? Sure. You can do plenty. Wait here. Right to the bar, W. Cut across and tell Williams, then down through the valley to the flying you. Go ahead. Uh, I know. Did you get the bones to Lessing? No, there's something more important. Round up the boys. Come, boys. Hey, you. Where you going? Wilton double crosses. He said nobody be here. That's the thing. Go get them, boys. Don't shoot unless you have to.
Who is he? That's Lynn. He's a nester down at Perlor. He runs sheep down there. Is he hurt? Is he hurt? He's stabbed, that's all. Wilton did it. Well. Wilton. Did you hear that, man? Well, this'll fix Mr. Wilton. You can't be sure about Wilton. He's like a sidewinder. He's never dead till his tail stopped with him. Yeah? Was a smart move. When the sheriff brings him in, we'll see if we can arrange a little necktie party. Say, Brent. Yeah. You know every cheap man in the country cut down on you at first sight? No. Look at this. Hmm. Well, if it's war they want. I'm ready. Thanks, Parsons. Okay. Come in. Hello, Les Lewis. You are foolish to come in tonight. Never mind that. What happened in court this morning? Pretty bad, huh? They've won all along the line. They've already got a court order, which practically allows Wilson to take the ranch over any time he wants to. $5,000. I'll post a bond in the morning and stall for time. Here. I'll need your power of attorney. Sign right there. <clears throat> They've got our backs to the wall. What's the answer? Your father must be declared sane. If Whale loses the guardianship, we can fight Wilton. Go as far as that 5000 bucks will take you. on his head and I got him. And believe me, I'm going to treat all of you boys right. Yeah. Take him off to jail. All right. All right, hustle up. You can take your time after your lock job. <laughs> and I reckon you ain't got a whole lot of time left. Come along, boys, listen to the tale, and I'll tell you I'm in trouble on the old Tiffin Trail. Come and die, I if you if you if you ain't come and die, I if you if you ain't. Cloudy in the west, and it looks like rain, and my darn little flickers in the wagon. They come and die, I if you if you ain't. Went to the boss to draw my roll, he had me figure nine dollars in the hole. Come and die, I if you if you if you ain't. Come and die, I if you if you ain't. With a ten law holster, hey, yeah. I'll look no more for the last one. Hey, yeah. Come and die, I, if he, if he, if he ain't, come and die, I, if he ain't. 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 Come and that the county should have to have the expense of trying a man like this fellow Halston. All right, all right, all right. And another thing, this here fellow thinks he can come out of Mexico and terrorize the whole valley. Well, he can't do it. And suppose that he gets a smart lawyer and he gets off. 
Where will the sheepmen in this valley be then? Where will they be? It ain't a question of any one man. It's a question of cattle or sheep. And they ain't room for both. That's right, and we all own sheep. Yeah, they've hogged all the water. they got to be wiped out. That's right. I'm town to get my money. I'm going to town to see my money. What do you say now? We handle this in our own way. Went to the boss to draw my only Deliver this for it, will you? Sure. Can you take this to my lawyer? Sure. I please. You'll pay for this. With a ten dollar horse and a forty dollar saddle, I'll look. You will get paid for it, don't you worry. Say, cut it out of there! Bacon and beans, most of it ain't very hay. Keep out of you and I'll blow you in two. Come on. together, I agree to do anything within reason. No. No, you promised too easy. I'm going to give you an object lesson. It was over. Now, this is a gourd, harder than your head. This is green rawhide. Did you ever hear of El Torneo de Carambre? No. Well, I learned it down in Mexico. It's a rawhide vice. I'm going to show you what green rawhide does to a gourd after it dries. Then maybe it'll have a slight influence on your desire to, uh, to do anything within reason. Exactly what do you expect to do with me? Saw that gourd, didn't you? What's that got to do with me? I'm going to write a letter to the circuit court judge ordering my father's release. Oh, I am, am I? Second, you're going to offer your resignation as guardian of my father's estate. No, that I refuse to do. 
Oh, yes, you will. I'll be with you in a minute. What, what are you going to do? I'm going to make you write that letter. You can't do this to me. Well, I'm doing it, ain't I? kind of skin I tied around that gourd. <laughs> now, when your head starts to ache, let me know. I got plenty of time to wait. And when your eyes start popping out like a couple of grapes, you'll write. You've got to do your duty, Sheriff. Just what are you referring to? Go out to the Five Springs Ranch and collect my note or take possession of the property for me. Well, it's going to take me some time to round up my deputies. You won't need any deputies. Here's six sheepmen that'll back up anything you've got to say. Come on into the office. Oh, oh Austin. Austin. Take this off, it's killing me. I'll write anything you want me to. That's what I thought. Gordon. How'd you get mud? Where's Brent? Well, that's what I'd like to know. Did you know he was arrested last night? No. Yep, he got away, and Ware's disappeared too. What? And that ain't all. Wilton's getting the sheriff. He's going out with old Sam's note in the corridor to take over the Five Springs Ranch. Well, I better ride back to the ranch and warn Ben. And that's not all. Wilton's on his way out here with the sheriff to foreclose on the ranch. That means there'll be 10,000 sheep on the Five Springs by nightfall. And ruin for every cattleman in the valley. We've got to find Brent. Yeah. Since Brent came... Well, the... Uh... I'm now where. Where have you been? Got a signed confession on this Umbry. He paid Dr. Close a thousand dollars to declare Dad insane. I'm going to town after him right now. You can't go now. Why not? Because Wilton Sheep and the Sheriff are on their way out here to foreclose on the ranch. Yeah. Wilton. Yes. I'll never let him burn this range up with sheep. I'm going after the cattle fight as well as mine. Ben, take Ware in the house and keep an eye on him. See you later. Whoa, hey, Pop! Get over at the Fire Springs Ranch. 
finish right away. Trouble. All in trouble, then. You bet we are. Hey, Walford! See him trying to take five springs away from me. Hurry up! Here I went! Sheriff with Wilton and his men. I should say not. I That's all I wanted to know. Sheriff. Ben, this year Wilton has got a paper that I, Sheriff of this county, am forced to execute. He's got an order from the court that unless the sum of $30,000 is paid to him in hand, he takes over the Five Springs Ranch. That's right. Show him the note, Wilton. I thought we were here to protect this ranch from sheep men. But it seems this man Wilton has got a legitimate right to take the place over. We can't fight the sheriff, then. Here's the book, you lonely. I sure enjoyed it. How young Bent cause your own false pretense. What do you got to say about that, Ben? Well, gentlemen, I reckon there ain't anything I can say. If this is Sam Halston's note, the ranch gold. Wilkins foreclosing on your father's note. That's right, Brent. Ben Houston, you told us the sheepman was trying to steal this ranch away from you. How about your dad's note?
me have that note. Just what I thought. It fits. Holy mackerel. The paper for this note was torn out of there. And look, that book was published in 1918. And the note is dated August 12th, 1916, which proves it's a forgery. Give that book a note to me. Not only that, I got witnesses right here to prove that Wilton murdered Fred Wynn. That's right, I heard him say so. Thank you. Right. Oh, and by the way, Sheriff, I got Ware inside. You might as well take him along, too. I got a signed confession that he framed my father in the asylum. So you see, boys, all it takes is a little frontier justice. Good day. Good Come on, man. Right. Ben, where's Ware? Don't worry about where. I've got him fixed, all right. John, go in the house and get him. And you get out here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, that's over. But there's something else. You ought to see the judge about turning your father loose. Oh, well, I want to see the judge. Because after he turns dad loose, uh, how about him tying us up? <laughs>